Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name's David and this is a deck review. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's Monday and on Monday, I have a headache. <laughs> I do. I woke up with a migraine this morning. I don't know what happened. I think the barometric pressure changed here in Texas, or I slept on my neck wrong, something. I woke up with a terrible headache, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because today's Monday and we're doing a deck review. That's what makes Monday great. I do deck reviews every single Monday because this channel started off as a deck review channel. I still love playing cards. You love playing cards. You want to come back and find out about the latest and the greatest. That's why you already hit like. You already hit like. You've already hit subscribe because you're awesome. So if you haven't done that yet, make sure you hit like, hit subscribe, hit all those notification bells so that you don't miss the next deck review or the next time I give away cards. These are the new Torch Red Enigma playing cards and you can find these at enigmacards.com. The tuck case is all done in white and red. You have the all-seeing eye right there in the center and underneath it says Enigma in a very retro, almost 70s looking font. You have a red border around the edges and the suit pip uh, in each corner. One side says enigmacards.com with a sword on the left and right. The other side says they were made in Mexico. The bottom has some ad copy about Enigma and the United States Playing Card Company. The back design, of course, is the back design of the cards. And there's no tuck seal, which is pretty awesome. The top says a little bit about the finish. The tongue flap has a running devil symbol that we'll see a little later. The two inside tuck flaps looks like a hand of cards on fire. And that's pretty much everything I can say about the tuck case. Let's bust it open and look inside. The back design almost looks like uh, a simple maze with that red stripe going through the white negative space. Uh, it's a really beautiful back design for flourishing and cardistry. The other thing I'll say about the back design is this is fully marked. Yep, that's right. This is a fully marked deck. So let's talk a little bit about the marking system. The marking system is going to be very similar to a knock deck. So if you're already familiar with knocks, uh, the marking system is close to that. It also involves a little bit of math. That's right, there's some addition involved. And so uh, to learn the marking system, you will need to spend some time with these cards and really get to know them. With this deck, you'll get two extra cards. One of them is an Enigma advertisement card. The other is that running devil symbol again. Up at the top, it says one of 2,000. That would mean this is one deck out of 2,000 printed. And in the devil's hand, he's holding an ace of spades reveal. Also with this deck, you'll get two jokers. One is black and one is red. They're done in the same style as the court cards. They say joker in each corner. There's the suit pips going down the front of the jacket. And in one hand, the joker is holding a uh, pendant with a pentagram inside. Right out of the box, you'll see that these cards come in mnemonic a stack, which is something that uh, magicians like. Uh, but the reason why you'd want it to be in mnemonic a stack is so that you could take it out of the box right in front of the spectator. You'd unwrap the deck right in front of the spectator and then do a couple of false shuffles and show the spectator that they're thoroughly mixed, but only you would know that you kept it in mnemonic a stack and now you would know where every single card was. Your four aces are all exploded. Your ace of spades has uh, crossed swords and the eye. The diamond has the axes used by the kings. Your club simply has the eye in the center and the heart has the uh, king of hearts sword going straight down. The court cards are red and black respectively. They are done in the same um, vein as their court card predecessors, but they're done much more simply. Everything has been stripped out. However, the suit clothing, the weapons they hold, their hats, the direction they're facing, uh, all of those things will be familiar to you, but uh, done in a very original 
Enigma style. Also buried within the court cards, there are two more card reveals. The King of Hearts has a three of clubs reveal and the Queen of Spades has a two of diamonds reveal. But that's just what the cards look like. You also wanna know how they feel and how they handle. Best thing I can do is measure them, compare them against other decks that are also in my collection. 10 cards in the caliper come to 2.76. 2.76 is a nice middle of the road deck of cards. It's about the same thickness as what you'd get uh, off the shelf these days. 2.76 heading a little bit more towards a thicker grade, but these will still feel nice and soft, very springy right out of the box. All right, that's everything I can say about the Torch Red Enigma playing cards. Like I said, you can pick these up at enigmacards.com. I want to thank Enigma for allowing me to have this deck so that I could do the review for you. And if you want to purchase it for yourself, head on down to enigmacards.com. Thanks, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye. Hey, would you like to learn a magic trick? You would. Did you know I have a second channel? That's right. I have a second channel where I teach beginning level magic tricks. Magic Channel Card Tricks is a place that you can go to to learn tricks with ordinary items you can find around the house. Paper clips, rubber bands, pens, and of course, decks of cards. I teach beginning level card tricks, simple card tricks, simple card forces that anybody could learn. I also review magic kits. So if you go buy a magic kit from the store, uh, your local Walmart or Target, uh, or you get a magic kit for Christmas, I'll go over exactly what's inside. And I'll even teach you how to perform with some of those tricks that you get inside those kits. Plus, I'm even gonna give you video instruction to very simple, very inexpensive tricks that you can pick up at your favorite magic store. Sometimes you get those tricks and the instructions are just on a tiny little piece of typewritten paper and you have no idea how to do that trick. Don't throw that trick away. Don't put it in a box. Come back to Magic Channel Card Tricks and I will teach you how to use that trick as well. Or maybe you're not a beginner. Maybe you're not a beginner, but maybe you have a niece or a nephew or a little brother or sister that is, that you could share this channel with them. This is a great, safe place kid-friendly, where they can learn beginning-level magic. Make sure you head on over to Magic Channel Card Tricks. Give my videos a like. Subscribe to that channel. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for being a part of Magic Orthodoxy.